Um, I guess since all we're doing is having a chat, I should probably address something real quick. Uh, but one thing I've become worried about is that when you guys are feeling sad, which is valid and it's fine, sometimes some people will sort of cross the line from... Um, Let's talk about what's appropriate, okay? I think that what's very appropriate and what, and what I enjoy is... I had a bad day today, but I'm really happy to be here right now. And you can even go a little further than that. You could say, I've been depressed for a few years, for example, but this stream makes me happy. That's fine. I like hearing that, because it makes me feel like I've done a really, really good job. However... We've had a couple instances where some people have detailed some really graphic stuff without any real relevance to the stream, and that's a problem. Not just because it makes me pretty uncomfortable. I mean, when I hear those things, obviously, in, in my heart, I want to stop and help out, but that distracts from the stream, it distracts from my, um, you know, my process and everything, and then after that, well, it also is pretty upsetting for everyone else in the stream. I mean... You've got to think about what those other people might have been through and maybe enjoying a little bit of Minecraft. They might not want to relive those experiences so suddenly. I will be honest, the urge to do so can be very compelling. When you really look up to someone like me or you feel at home in chat, you might feel as though you really want to. That's okay. Take that urge and make it an urge to spend the money you would have spent on those supers on getting a session with a therapist. Okay? Seek some professional help. And if you don't feel as though you can wait, if your issue feels urgent, there are helplines available. And what I think I might like to do is leave a link uh, in the chat rules to um, some available helplines to make sure that you guys are putting your time and money in the right place to get help with all of those terrible issues because they are terrible. And I don't want anyone who's done this before to feel as though I think you're bad people because you aren't. You were in a desperate place and you needed help. You, all you did was you went to the wrong place looking for help. I am interacting with you through a screen, and for that reason, I don't feel terribly upset when anything really happens. For example, right? Sexual stuff. I'm gonna be honest. I've kind of, if I wasn't comfortable with it, I wouldn't be making this kind of content, okay? I wouldn't be doing this kind of shit. I personally think that sexual comments about me are hilarious and also kind of flattering in a lot of ways. I don't mind. I really don't. I think that it's completely fine. It's also true that we have a safe word. It's also true that if you guys send me a fucking super that really, you know, is beyond reprehensible, I can say the word Lorax and then I won't have to interact with it and you guys will get the message. So it's not a big deal. I think, I understand people's concerns, really I do, um, but I've thought pretty hard about all of this and I've decided that on that front I, I think I'm okay, I'll be fine personally. I feel justified in it because there, if you don't like that you're more than welcome to not interact, you're more than welcome to go somewhere else and there are members of Niji Sanji who are really good friends of mine that you can watch instead, like Shu. He has, very say-so content, so did Ike that you can watch. You're gonna love those two if, you're, if this is a little too much for you. That's fine, that's fine. But what that gives me the opportunity to do is to be more like myself. And I don't plan on changing my content for anybody. So if you like what you find here, don't worry. It'll only get more intense from here. I think also another one uh, that I should probably address really quick I don't mind if you feel tremendously attached, okay? If these streams make you really happy, and if these streams make you, you know, and if you like me as a person, that's okay. I don't mind, personally. The one thing that I want you to do for me is to try and also... You can stay here as long as you like, and you can feel as strongly about me as you want to, because I think it's sweet. I really do. But I want you to go into, into the real world and find happiness in other places, too. There's a reason why I say I love you, and it's because I do. I do deeply. And when I think about people that I love, I think about all the wonderful things that they deserve. Finding love or happiness or passion in the real world is really 
really important as well, okay? So what I'd like to be for you is I would like to be someone that you love, but also with the promise that I won't be upset if you find happiness elsewhere, okay? Because you really deserve that.